Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's to everybody. Before we get started in today's video, hope you all have an amazing Christmas season, New Year's season so far, and that you and your family are well. Now that we have that out of the way, today's video we're going to be flipping high margin, high volume items. Sorry, high volume items. So I've been getting this question a lot. What items do I flip? What items do I flip if I have under 10 mil, if I have under 20 mil? Well, I'm here to answer your question. These items are items that are traded abundantly throughout the day on RuneScape, and they're usually in the top 100 most traded items on the Grand Exchange. These are items like ammo, food, runes, potions, and several, several other items that we're gonna be going over in this video. So, this video, I would recommend it for anybody who has under a 20 mil cash stack, you should really be focusing on high volume items. And I'm gonna show you a few items that you guys can choose from. And before we dive into this video, guys, make sure you're leaving a like down below, comment your feedback. I love all feedback that I get. I appreciate all feedback that I get. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell on so you know whenever I release some new content. With that out of the way, again, let's get into this flipping, man. You're gonna hear a lot of clicking. That's because I don't edit it out. I want everything to be real time for you guys, showing you items that you are able to flip and that I'm not editing out or making so it looks just like polished. I want you to see the raw flipping of it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first item you guys really need to check out is Zora Scales. Zora Scales are probably the best high volume item that you can flip in the game. Some people may disagree with that. I think it's just a really solid item. You can usually expect two to three GP margin out of it. So right here has a three GP margin on it. That's actually an insane margin on it. That is a huge margin. So we're definitely gonna be doing that. 161, we're gonna buy the entire GE limit as well. A few under actually. Always buy a few under the GE limit just in case you have to end up price checking that item later. So let's say that margin changes. I wanna be able to know what that price point is at then. So always save like three or four away from the GE limit just so you aren't, so just so you don't have to wait four hours to check the margin on an item once again. So definitely, I always do like 29995. I always leave like four or five on high volume just so I can check margins later on. All right, the next thing we're gonna check out here is air orbs air orbs they're kind of up in the air usually they're pretty solid other times they're just like a 4 gp margin um to you that may be worth it but for me i really like to have a 10 gp plus margin on them right there it's a 3 gp margin so it's not going to be worth it for us now but air orbs you definitely need to keep an eye out for air orbs in case they end up do having a good margin which happens a lot um i wouldn't say it happens like every single time but usually i can expect a good margin out of the air orbs Next one I want you to check out is Manta Rays. Manta Rays are one of my favorite high volume items to flip just because they're always, they've always been consistent with me. They've always been extremely consistent and I know I can expect usually a good margin out of it. So right there, it's a, it's a six GP margin. It's been better, it's been worse. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. Once again, I'm saving four so I can margin check it later if I end up having to. It's always a safe bet. Next one, Diamond Dragon Bolts. are Probably my favorite ammo type to buy. Dragon darts and diamond dragon bolts. Make sure you're doing the enhanced enchanted one. They're extremely, extremely reliable. So like I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten under a seven GP margin on the diamond dragon bolts. That was just a really, really solid item to flip, especially for the price point of them. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do once again, saving about four slots. So we don't buy the entire limit in case we need a margin check them later. And we already got the Zora scales to buy boys. Let's try and sell them for 164. See if we can get them to sell. Manta rays are buying in. Diamond Dragon Bolts are still waiting. We're going to do another ammo type. Let's do rune darts here. What can we get out of these darts? Usually I can get a pretty solid, pretty solid margin out of them. Right there, that's a 10 GP margin on the rune darts, boys. That's not bad at all. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, do 10.995 again, saving four in case we have to margin check them later, which hopefully we won't. Sometimes you have to. So another item I want you guys to check out is Ranar Seeds. They're a little bit more expensive. They're on the expensive side, but they usually have pretty consistent margins. The only problem I have with Ranar Seeds is that margin can change. I wouldn't say frequently, but it does change. 
Ah, man, that's a tough one. It changes often. So that's a 58k potential profit right there, 294 GP each. For me, that's not going to be worth it, but for you, that may. So once again, Raynor Seed's definitely one you should be checking out. Another seed type is Snapdragon Seeds. Even more expensive than the Raynor Seeds. But once again, they're also really consistent. So we'll check them out, see what we can get out of them. That's a 415 GP margin on the Ranar Seeds. I will go ahead and try that out. See what we can get out of it. That's 10 mil we're investing. Not bad at all. Especially for a 82k return. Probably not going to end up getting that. But still, we're going to do the Snapdragon Seeds just because I love them. They're extremely consistent. Manta Rays are still buying. We're getting the Zoro Scales to sell, so look at that, boys. The next one we're going to do, we'll go ahead and head into the Runes. Really, the only runes that I do is blood runes. A lot of people may say death runes, uh, natty runes, law runes. I only ever do blood runes just because those are my favorite, and those are the most consistent, at least from what I've found. Once again, saving four in case we have to price check them later. Got the blood runes going at 75k if we can get those to flip. All right, next one I want you guys to check out. Usually, it doesn't have that great of a margin on it, but sometimes it has like a 10 plus GP margin on it. Steel bars here. It's probably not a 17 GP margin on it. Yeah, 1 GP margin on it right now. Always keep an eye on the steel bars, though, just because they are extremely consistent. Um, Dragon Darts is going to be our next one. Let's see if we can get out of the Dragon Darts here, boys. I wish it was 136 GP. 31 GP margin on the Dragon Darts. Um, get these if you have closer to the 20 mil cash stack. You may not be able to buy the entire limit, as you can see, but still, Dragon Darts are a really consistent item. Next one, let's actually do Rune Dart Tips. Once again, in the ammo category. I don't I don't know. I've had kind of mixed luck with the Rune Dart Tips. It's always good to check them out, though, just out of curiosity. Yeah, it's a 5 GP margin. Um, for me, that's not worth it. For you, it may be. Next, we're going to check out Oak Planks. See what we can get out of these Oak Planks. 437 is the buy price. It's a 5 GP margin on it. Um, just because they're so cheap, I'm going to go ahead and do that. See what we can get out of them. See if we can get some profit on them. That's 65K if we can get them to flip. So once again, not bad. We're going to wait for these items to buy and sell. And I'll give you an update whenever I got one for you. All right, now that we have two slots available... We're going to go ahead and go for some mahogany planks. Usually they're a pretty consistent item. They're a little bit more on the expensive side, but once again, if you have the GP to do it, you should definitely be flipping them. Look at that, a 60 GP margin on the mahogany planks. Not bad whatsoever, boys. So we'll definitely be doing that. Next ones are going to be doing mahogany logs. One of my favorite items whenever I had under a 50 mil cash stack. I just love mahogany logs because they were super consistent. They are a little bit volatile though, so that's the only thing. They consistently had like over 10 GP margins. Like look at that, 16 GP margin on an item that's 550 GP. It's absolutely ludicrous. So they're definitely, definitely should be flipping those if you guys have the cash stack to do that. It's only six mil for the entire GE limit right there. Not bad at all. So this is a good lesson learned here. Mahogany plank, it went from a 60 GP margin to a two GP margin. So I noticed it wasn't buying. I checked the margin on it again, 2 GP margin. So I'm glad we actually didn't get them to buy because that's that's not going to be worth it whatsoever. And that just shows you how fast, how fast margins fluctuate. Like they fluctuate like crazy. So once again, don't be surprised if you can't get items to sell. Just because margins change so drastically, all you're making is a guess. You're making your best guess if an item's going to sell or not. Um, and right now, Mahogany Planks, they weren't working for us. Next thing we're going to check out, though, is coconuts. Coconuts are a really good item to be flipping. We'll check them out and see what type of margin we can get on them. And it's a 10 GP margin right there in the coconuts. Not bad. So we'll go ahead and try them out. Next one, it's debatable if it's high volume. It's most likely not, um, but it does have a high buy limit. And that's going to be the Amulet of Glory 6. I don't know why I didn't just spell it out. We'll check it out. Usually has a pretty decent margin. Give me something good here. Come on. 1.2 mil if we can get them to flip. Guys. 
absolutely ludicrous. Once again, that's for if you have like over a 20 mil cash stack, the Amulets of Glory. Um, it's a really consistent margin right there though. Love that, 121 GP margin. That's 1.2 mil if we get the entire limit to flip, which we probably won't, but you can always stream. Planks, still selling. Snapdragons are selling. Manta Rays, still selling. They're still buying too. I may end up canceling that offer on the Manta Rays just because it wasn't a super... It wasn't a juicy margin. So we can definitely put something else in this slot to start buying. And that's going to be the Addy Ore. Another one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites right here. See if we can get anything out of it though. Yeah, it's a 5 GP margin. Um, back in the day, I may have taken that. But right now, that's not going to be worth it for us. So we'll kind of steer clear of that for now. Um, one that I just thought about, actually. Addy Darts kind of hit or miss sometimes they have insane margins on them other times there's just nothing but we can check them out see what we can get on them yeah it's a 2 gp margin so it's not going to be worth it for us but it's definitely worth checking out definitely check out addy darts every time you guys flip another item high volume wise um and this one may be a little bit controversial but i think burnt pages are a decent high volume item you just have to be careful you have to be careful and make sure that margin doesn't fluctuate too much on you. So don't buy them entire limits at a time. Buy like 2,000 at a time. So it's a 35 GP margin for each. 385K if we can get the entire limit to flip. Um, once again, which we probably won't. We're only going to go for 5,000 here for now. At 3601, see if we can get them to buy. It's got a huge chunk of glories to buy. It's always a good sign. Manta Rays still selling, Coconut still buying, and we can fill up this last slot. This is one that if you don't have that big of a cash stack, it's a really good flip. And that's going to be Monkfish. I used to flip Monkfish all the time. I don't as much anymore just because I have a bigger GP stack, but back in the day, Monkfish were really good. It's only a 1 GP margin here, but you definitely need to check out Monkfish, especially if you don't have that big of a cash stack. Monkfish, Lobsters... Lobsters, definitely. They usually have only a 2 or 3 GP margin on them, but they always flip whenever I flip them. So we'll... Maybe we'll try them out. We'll check them out. Just, just for educational purposes. See what lobsters are at. Yeah, a 2 GP margin. So you can expect about 2 GP out of them. Next one we're going to check out... Ooh, uh, yeah, I'm going to try them out. Dragonstone Bolts. Once again, with ammo, I think they're hit or miss, um, but usually have decent luck with Dragonstone Bolts. Right now, it's a 3 GP margin, so it's not going to be worth it. Always keep an eye out on them, though. <sighs> Thinking about doing Death Runes, boys. I'm not sure, though, because usually I don't have that much luck with Death Runes, but they definitely are a high-volume item. We'll check them out, just out of curiosity. See if they have a decent margin on them or not. Alright, Death Runes. Yeah, 1 GP margin on them. It's not going to be worth it for us. And we're going to go ahead and go into Potions. Cerebrews are going to be your main potion that you flip whenever you're flipping. Cerebrews, Super Restores. Those are my two favorites to be flipping when you're doing Potions. So let's check them out. It's a 50 GP margin right there, so that's 100k if we can get the entire limit of Cerebrews. Not bad at all. It's 11 mil out there you'd be spending, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Next one we're going to check out is Super Restores. Let's see what we can get out of the Super Restores here. And... That's a big margin. 241 GP on the Super Restores. Man, I'm glad I checked those out now. Not bad at all. So we'll be doing the Super Restores as well. Dragon Darts, we're going to go ahead and drop those. Cancel the offer on them. The margin's obviously changed. So we'll have to check it out, see what we have to drop them to. 409. We'll try 2406. See if we can get them to sell for that. The rest of these manta rays we'll go ahead and list, but drop them just by a little bit. Maybe by 2 GP. See if we can get the rest of those to sell. Alright guys, things are going pretty well. The super restores are really selling. I'm really happy about that. Right now we're at 560, 570, almost 580k profit so far. Just off high volume items. Another one we're going to check out here 
I just had it in my head and I just lost it. That's right, that's right, that's right. Dragon Arrows. Um, have not had the best luck with them recently, but overall in the long run, I've had consistency with the Dragon Arrows, besides for this last mm, past two weeks or so. We'll check them out, though, see what we can get out of them. An 11 GP margin on the Dragon Arrows. Guys, that's not bad at all. Let's check out what the margin. I mean, check how much it is with the entire GE limit. Once again, saving like three or four. It's only 6.6 .6 mil. And you can get 121k profit back. Not bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and try them, see if we can get them to flip. Glory is selling. Coconuts, a little bit worried about those, but we'll keep an eye on them. See if we can get them to sell. We'll probably still make a profit off of them. Darts, another one we're a little bit concerned about, but we'll get them to sell off. We don't have to worry about those. Um, one we're going to check out here is Stamina Pots. Another really good item to flip. Once again, there's going to be more on the expensive side, but they're still consistent. You can buy like 1,000 at a time, 500 at a time. It's a 41 GP margin right there. Um, I'll go ahead and try them out just because I have the cash to do it. Um, for you, that may not be worth it. We'll try it out, see what happens with it. Sarah Brews are buying slowly but surely. Nothing really else to update with. Everything's going pretty well. I think that margin's gone on the Super Restores now. It's been over two minutes since we had one buy. Maybe it'll pick up again. We'll keep it there just because that was a really good margin. So we'll keep an eye on it. Sarah Brews, I think I really... I'm going to go ahead and cancel and sell what we have. Just because it wasn't that huge of a margin on them. So we'll sell them, see if, we'll, see if we can get them to sell off or not without having to drop that price. Most of the time you have to drop the price one or two GP with high volume items just so you can stay above the competition. Um, that's kind of the only downside to high volume items. Um, I guess another downside is you don't make as much money as you would be flipping like glories, I mean furies, um, torture necklaces, anything like that. The more high margin, low volume items. But still, if you don't have that big of a cash stack, this is definitely the route to go. It also helps you practice flipping. That's the biggest thing with beginners. You have to practice, practice, practice. I've only been flipping for almost a year now, just a little under a year, and it came with a lot of practice, a lot of practice. Started out with five mil, right over 280 mil right now, all pure flipping profits. So trust me, you can get there. You just have to practice, and high volume is definitely the route to go. All right, guys, next item is teleport to house. <laughs> teleport to house, 13 GP margin on it. Another really solid item. Always had luck with the teleport to house. Last two, I'm going to give you two more high volume items. Then that's going to be it, boys. So, bowstrings. I guess it's two words. Yeah, bowstrings. I don't flip them that much, but I have heard they're a pretty consistent item. It's a 1 GP margin on it. We're not going to do that one, boys. We're not going to do that one. So, bowstrings. You know when you have like brain farts, you're sitting there like, what was I just about to put in there? Yeah, that's right. Cannonballs. Probably the second or third best high volume item that you can be flipping. See what type of margin we can get on it. A 3 GP margin. If you don't have that big of a cash stack, 3 GP is not bad. So we're going to go ahead and try them out, see if we can get them to flip. Only 1.5 mil to buy the entire limit of cannonballs. Not bad at all. And we're still getting these glories to sell off, boys. So, still a good sign there. Glories are selling off. And next one, I want you guys to check out diamonds. Uncut diamonds, to be specific. Uncut diamonds. I've had a lot of luck with them. Um, I've had a lot of bad luck with them, too. So, once again, they're one of those items you have to be cautious with. So, look, it's a 22 GP margin on it, 220K. Um, if you have a bigger cash stack, definitely worth it. But once again, just proceed with caution definitely proceed with caution and hopefully we'll get lucky um i would say <laughs> diamonds hunk cut diamonds are like 50 50 so they're kind of an oddball but overall i've had a lot of luck with uncut diamonds so you just have to be careful whenever you're flipping them but if you're careful you're gonna be perfectly fine they're gonna be a solid flip for you thank you for stopping by guys i hope you've had a wonderful christmas season so far i promise you guys if you keep practicing you'll get there You'll get there, man. I know 2020's I know 2020's been a rough year, not just for flipping, just for everything in general, man. Life in general. But if you keep practicing, that's something you can get better at. Just practice, practice, practice flipping. And I promise those of you guys have a 20 mil, under 20 mil cash stack, I promise you will get up there 
It just takes lots of practice and lots of patience. Once you get those two knocked down, it'll be a breeze, man. I'm just, I'm glad 2020 is almost over. It is almost in the storybooks, guys. And once it is, man, am I going to be excited for 2021 and all the stuff to come after that. So, hey, if you want the chance to win a bond, I'll tell you what, I'm giving away three bonds for Christmas this year. So, if you want your chance to win, all you need to do is, one, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, two, like this video, three, leave your RuneScape username below, along with some feedback from this video. I love all the feedback you get. I read all the comments. So please leave one down below. I greatly appreciate it. The next time I stream, I'll be announcing our winners of the bond giveaway. So if we only have one person leave a comment down below, then we only have one person leave a comment down below. And that's all we're gonna be doing, just one bond. So make sure we get at least three people to follow these steps for your chance to win a bond, man. That's all I had for you in this video. Thank you for tuning in. This is Queen Saraha signing out. Have a happy holiday.